All right, that's enough of staring at uh, Shell Silverstein's giving tree. Fun random little fact. Oh, that guy actually died while I was reading his book in elementary school. Uh, not like right in front of me or anything, but it's just like I was being introduced to Shell Silverstein in elementary school, and then it was like, oh yeah, he's dead. Surprise. Fun news for children. Public footpath. Can't remember if that was before or after the uh, creator of Garfield also died around that time, I think. Or maybe it was Pe oh, it was Peanuts, I think. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Everything's cloudy and confusing when you're a child. Where's this path going to lead to? So people said that if I hold right trigger, I can sprint. Am I sprinting? Am I, am I running? Am I, am I moving faster right now? It might be such a... Uh, I think I am moving faster. I think it's just such a... I think it's just such a casual, like, gradual difference in speed that it's hard to actually notice. Under the microscope, you could see how the light was following the cellular structure of its wings. The neural simplicity of the insects seems to prevent a full-blown infestation, so there's none of the hemorrhaging I'm seeing in the birds. But Stephen's wrong. This isn't an attack. It's a byproduct of the attempt to communicate. It's getting smarter. It's learning as it adapts. I'm confident of a breakthrough soon. Did I nail it? They're saying that it's a byproduct of its att attempts to communicate, so... That's exactly what I was talking about, the idea that like, it's just trying to talk to us, but its attempts to talk to us are actually what's killing us. Almost like when you have, like, aliens that are weird... Oh, yeah, like in Star Trek, when you have the weird, like, spirit ghost creatures that... ...tried to communicate by possessing crew members of the ship and I think, in Next Generation, and talking through them. But I think it was, like, it was either painful or lethal, or at the very least, it was just straight up, like, weird physical slavery that was problematic. But that was their way of communicating. And this could all be that, too. It's a very nice lake. What's that out there? Is that just a bucket? That is just a bucket. Oh, heard a sound. Something's going on in that direction. Just another map where we made ourselves to. Oh, Yacht and Pond. Still by the forest. There's the farm. So I'm walking around in the vicinity of that. We start at the observatory, so I assume we're just. Yeah, it's kind of like a sense of your progression through the area. Noteworthy thing on the uh, page for this game, it lists having six characters, and I see six named locations. Avalis Observatory, Yachton, Chipworth Forest, Appleworth's, Appleton's Farm, Little Tipworth, and Lakeside. So far, with Valus, Yachton, and Tipworth Forest, one character's uh, little sub-story has started in each one. That might be the, con the continual thing. Can I go in water? You can go in the water. Uh, is that an invisible wall? It is. You can kind of go in the water. <laughs> well, that's a nice visual. The rippling water and everything. A little bit of popping. That's fine. Sounds. Definitely hearing something. Well, that's nice. Oh. Something nearby. Breaker, Breaker 9, call in on 9. This is Lost Cowboy looking for anyone out there. Hello? Breaker 1-9, Breaker travel in Sherlock. Charlie, you out there? Over. My, Hello? my family, my, my wife that? and kids. Yeah, I'm perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant. My own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. No. Don't you lecture me about no. sacrifice, you, you spineless stupid, little shit. stupid bastard. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. He left the radio running, but he'd already gone. It's when they're talking about bombing everything. Wiping it all out. 
Scorched Earth. Can't let any of it escape. But what if it's not even lethal? What if it's just something we don't understand yet? Can I get behind this building at all? These bushes and everything look, look oddly like they're all supposed to create a solid barrier. Let's see. Yep, alright. I heard a sound. I thought I might be able to go back there. It might have been that sound, actually. So I might be done with that. Let's try to spot the speed difference. Am I, I think I am moving faster now. Oh. Probably want to check this path real quick. What is up with these weird logs? Were you, were you supposed to step over the gate instead of opening it? Also, not logs. Planks. It cl Ah! It doesn't look, look like it op- yeah, it does not look, look like it opens. There's no hinges or anything. That must be normal, I guess. Just something that's foreign to me. The idea of stepping over probably to block certain things? Like, I don't know, you, you, you'd expect animals or something, but I haven't really seen a lot of suggestion of, of uh, farming for wildlife. Granted, we just got here and this is the farm area, so... It has extra reason to maybe make sense. Nice nature. This would be a great place to go on hikes. It's th it's the ghost thing. Wade called me in about six weeks after, once he thought I could cope with no end. Can I ever repay you for what you did? She was a good woman, Frank. The best. You should come back to church. Back to the community, you're missed. I hate him, Father. I can't get down on my knees and pretend otherwise. And I don't understand why you don't hate him, too. I try my hardest not to, Frank. It goes against the job description somewhat. But faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. We have to trust him. Even when his methods are hidden from view. Maybe see you on Sunday. They're trying to believe that this is all a part of some higher purpose. That this is meant to, to accomplish something. And I've got no way of saying if they're right. We need to, we need to just keep digging deeper here. See what kind of adventures our farmer friend's gonna go on. Adventures is a strong word. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Beautiful flowers are again. It's a great place to be around. The bubbling brook. Another reminder that all the insects are still alive when we're not here. Which is weird because it, it did kind of sound like the insects were being... Oh wait, no, in that last description I think they explained how the insects were somehow resilient to it probably upstairs, isn't it? I hung up on Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. There has to be a way of consolidating, of offering reciprocal amplification to the signal. So they're trying to they're trying to answer. They're seeing this all as a form of communication, so they're trying to in turn respond to the communication to, as a solution. It's not a crazy approach. There's may, there may be no solution. I think a good companion. I, I'm get, I'm getting the feeling that a good companion piece, if you're watch if you're watching all this, would be to look up the uh, book uh, Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton. Crichton. He's the guy that wrote the uh, Jurassic Park in the first place. He wrote a uh, pretty interesting little virus story that has some pretty similar implications to some of this crazy stuff going on here. Uh, maybe don't watch the movie? I don't know. Uh, there's a movie. I haven't seen it. It might be terrible. Oh, there's a little more over here. And another radio. A number of reasons to check this direction. 
What do you have to show me? I, I see you dwelling. You're just gonna leave? You tease. Was it just making mechanical sounds? Is it leaving? I don't... I don't think it's... I don't think it's gonna show me anything. I think it's just being weird again. Okay. It was so weirdly lingering compared to usual. The radio telescope in Tower 6 is burned out. The background radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. My face is still numb from the burn. Oh, uh, she's been burned. Are we gonna see her and her face is gonna be damaged? Is she even still around? I think she talked to us. We didn't exactly have a two-way conversation though, so it's always hard to tell if something's live or from the past. So people said that one of the triggers is supposed to make you run. I think they said R2, but I'm not sure. But uh, it's definitely a subtle change in speed if, it, if that's what works. I think they almost don't want you to use it because it's not even listed in the controls. The game just says joysticks move and uh, and X interacts. So directly above us there's something. It's a pretty freaky sight. Oh, more of those books. The day the earth bre breathed out and a wishing machine. They're like references. Like a time machine and, and the day the earth stood still to... I think those are both H.G. Wells science fiction books. I could be wrong about that detail. The Inner Life of the Singularity. And a breathing mask. Oh. I know that the I know that the uh the time machine is definitely H.G. Wells. Oh, whole engine in here. They're busy. That's some nasty oh, this whole place is pretty nasty. Lots of alcohol around. Unkept. Huh. Interesting setup here. My initial response is like, why would you put all that stuff on your table? That's gross. You gotta eat sometime, right? But if this person's probably alone. Maybe an interest in sci-fi. Definitely not cleaning up after themselves. Definitely doesn't have use for the family table. Garbage and alcohol and paint everywhere. Hey, buddy. Nasty little toilet room. Alright. There's lots of personality in this. This mu this has to be what Gone Home is supposed to be like. I still haven't played it. But it's supposed to be about like a house that gives all this personality and background on characters. And you can definitely see how that kind of stuff happens just from what I'm looking at here. Door's locked. That's obviously where they want me to go. It's where all the particles are. Alright, what do you have for me? Oh, they're patient. How's your sister, Frank? We've not spoken since the funeral. Ah, I see. Well, uh, listen, I, I, I did rather wonder if you might do me a bit of a favor and check in on her. See if she's alright. Dr. Wade, if they drop the bomb, there'd be no left but cockroaches and Wendy Boyles. It's a bit odd, really. There's an old chap, John Coles, regular visitor at Lakeside, went walkabout sometime last night. Now it appears Mrs. Boughton has done the same. Enid? Well, that'd be clever. They amputated her leg last spring. Yes, that's the thing. I've also got a surgery full of people with nosebleeds and headaches... The council are saying influenza, but I've been practicing for 35 years, and I'm not convinced. I just wondered if you might pop by and see her. Even if I did, do you really think she'd let me in? Fine. Forget it. I'll see her. Leave it to me. Oh, and Frank, call the hospital and get them to collect all this stuff. It's been eight months. Oh, that's definitely going to be a part of it. So he lost family a while ago and just hasn't picked up any of the medical supplies and breathing masks and the hospital bed and everything. 
And now that they're alone, there's the prayers and the, the pills. Now that he's alone, he just works on, he just, the place is dirty and unkept. He probably took down a bunch of pictures that reminded them too much of stuff. And they, uh, he's just made a mess of things now because there's no one to clean up for. And he lost someone important. Even his work, yep, there's even gin in his, uh, in his work case. What do you have to show me? Is there something over here, boy? What is it? You're staying aw awfully still. You don't usually do that. Is it in here? It's bloody England. You can't just stop the train, stop people traveling about the place. I don't like it, Frank. I don't like it at all. And nobody liked it. No sense sweating cobs over it. Folk all riled about it, giving me grief. I didn't stop the bloody trains, did I? And did they give me any warning? No, they bloody didn't. Yesterday, it's all like, keep them calm, Howard, minor disruptions. And today, it's all government edicts and not until further notice. And you'll manage. Half the village has vanished. It's a couple of people. It's hardly half the village. Oh, right now. But you forget, I've seen things. I was in the Falklands. I tell you, I got out the old air raid siren to test it this morning. Air raid siren? What on earth are you going to do with one of those? I found it in the station storeroom. Took it home, stuck it under the bed. Thought it might be worth something one day. Oh, damn it! It's all right. It's just a nosebleed. Here, use my Yankee. It's clean. Oh, thanks, Frank. Thanks. It's been getting like a bloody drain all day. And that's how Howard infected Frank, and Frank died horribly. That's probably where this is going. Or whatever this this event does to people. Besides the bleeding, of course. I don't think I've seen mass graves yet. So whatever happens to these people has been a little unclear. Is, is that the tree again? The same tree? Maybe. Where's my guiding light? Huh? Well, I've been down here mostly, so I'm going to continue, continue down the road for now. So, we keep getting references to the bombs, and we saw the planes coming in. So the idea that everything got bombed out and wiped out... ...seems likely. Like this whole game is less of a rapture and more of a... ...a Hiroshima? Hiroshima? Lots of pronunciations there, and I've mixed them all up now. The idea of, like, here's this, uh... ...whole city doing its day-to-day -day activities and... ...sort of getting an idea of something going bad, but... Not quite grasping just how wrong everything gets. And the, sh the extent of the tr what the tragedy might be. That said, we have a fair amount of game left to go, so there's still plenty of opening for them to go somewhere completely different with it. How best, Graham? Morning, Frank. You look a little out of breath. What's up? Bloody observatory gates have failed. I came to see if I could borrow a ladder. Bloody hell, there's a 12-foot drop the other side of that wall. I'm old, but I'm not useless, no. And I borrow the ladder. No one said you were useless. Reese? Hi, Frank. Fetch go in the ladder, will you, lad? It's round the side of the barn. Will do. And you be careful. I don't want Stephen Appleton coming mithering round here because you've broken your neck. Where are you going, buddy? I'm back. I just want to check back here real quick. Anything cool? Workplace, Maglite. Probably no major reveals to be found. Yeah. Just a little workshop with a van in it. Just gotta keep up with the professional courtesies. Is that another one of those bird books? Of course it is. I can't even read it. The bloom's too strong. Yeah, I can't read that one. Are Rubik's Cubes always 4x4? Four four? I thought they were 3x3. Three three. I could be wrong. Maybe they are 4x4. Four four. I never really got used to them or... Spent a lot of time around them. And I, I, in high school, so many people had weird Rubik's Cubes that were like these messed up, custom, nightmarish, weird shapes. Because they went too far down that rabbit hole. And at some point I just forgot what normal ones looked like. Oh, here's something. Hi! I want to work with you! Jesus, what the bloody hell are you doing? What are you up to? Get out of my way. This is important. You've been with Lizzie. You mess with her, I'll knock your bloody block off. I son. need to track the pattern. It's critical. What are you talking about, Stephen? People are sick. Birds are dying. My cows are dead. Where's Kate? Still up at the tower for all I know. I 
could recalibrate the radial coordinates on the primary oscillators. If that holds up... Stephen, where's Kate? What's going on? Just keep out of my way! Oh, he's off on a bike. No catching him right away. We could, If we were really careful, we could probably uh, figure out exactly which bike it was. Is that a toilet out here? And a sink, maybe? What was he doing out here? Did he have some sort of weird setup with all the stuff stacked up and then it fell over when that guy startled him? Because that would look pretty weird. He looks like a crazy person. But he's working with Kate. So that he must have been onto something. They had something going on there. Okay, this looks like it has to go somewhere. Another barn. Pretty substantial buildings. Nice open air things. There we go. I like that you can change the direction of the door midway through its long... Opening and closing cycles to change direction again. What do you have for me? He never mentions anything about them sickening yesterday. I checked them last night on the way back and they were fine. I woke up this morning and the whole lot had gone. Tell me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all round the reeking. And Dr. Wade reckons they're sick folk all over the village. Meg said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. Set the quarantine in the whole valley. I reckon it's best we just sit it out. It'll all come right, Frank. This'll all come right? Yeah, right. I am sorry about your cows, Frank. But when things settle down, they'll see you all right. There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I tell you, Charlie, something big is happening. So we're establishing that all the wildlife's getting killed, but we're only seeing more and more insects everywhere. She mentioned this. She mentioned experimenting on insects. What if that's how it's become airborne? Not because it's literally become airborne, but what if the disease has? What if the what if the infected insects spread and multiplied everywhere, and then they infected everybody here and all the mammals and the birds? Birds start dropping out of the sky because insects would get them, would make contact with them all the way up there. The birds would eat the insects that were infected, probably. And that, and that would just lead to more. Oh, thanks, Frank. Let's get it out of the way. I don't know what happened. It just died on me. Give it another go. Oh, I only just put petrol in it as well. Robert's taken the other car into town. I wish he'd get back. He promised me that he'd be back this morning. You think he's off on another bender? Oh, I can't police him all the time, Frank. He's not a child. What's going on, Lizzie? Nothing. You're seeing Stephen again, aren't you? You two can't keep pithering on like this. If Robert hasn't already worked it out, he soon will. Oh, not if he carries on drinking the way he is. Pardon my French, but bloody shit thing. Why won't it start? Come on, I'll give you a lift. I'm noticing that they, they light up really brightly when they speak, but they also get like a little bit of a pulse every now and then. I think that, that might literally be their pulse. I think they might get that, that periodic flash every time that they act, their actual heart beats. It's starting to feel like we might already be coming up on the close of uh, Frank's story. That windmill's pretty incredible looking. I wonder if maybe Lizzie's going to be one of the POV characters for later. What do you have for us? Oh, it's another one of these manual ones. All right, I got it. Frank! Frank, for God's sake, stop! Keep back, you bastard. I know what you've done. Where's Lizzie? 
Where is she? I've got to find her. You stay away. Someone's got to warn them. Someone's got to stop it. You can't stop it. You have to understand. You hate me, I get that. But if we don't do this, it's not just the valley, it's everything, Frank. It's all gone. You're talking bollocks. You can't stop it. Jesus! You take one step closer, I'll bash your bloody skull in, I swear to God. All right, all right, I'm going. But if you see Lizzie, tell her to get out. There's still time. Please, Frank, for her, not me. If you're that bloody caring, you can save her yourself. Don't you get it? I have to stay. Someone has to be here to confirm that everyone is dead. Jesus, Stephen, what'd you do? What did you do to get him on the uh, shoot-to-kill mode? 